Hello everybody and welcome to Scene Topics. Today we'll be carrying on from primary and secondary effects. Now we'll be moving on to primary and secondary waves. You may be getting confused between the same primary and secondary in both names, so we call them S and P waves. So these S and P waves are very, very similar. In fact, they can travel through the Earth at fast speeds. But the differences are the P waves can travel through everything, but the S waves cannot pass through molten areas. These two types of waves are known as body waves, but there are also a third kind, surface waves. These can travel through the Earth's crust and don't travel within the mantle or core. I know the it Earth is itching to have his say on this topic, so over to you, Earth. Hello, everyone. Ahem. P and S waves have yet another name. P waves are also known as compression waves, and S waves can also be called shear waves. Why is this useful? Well, I always knew I was running inside, and humans knew about volcanoes, but no way of knowing how much of me was liquid. Have you ever wondered how humans discovered that my inner core was solid? Well, it is all thanks to earthquakes, and measuring the time it takes for the vibrations to pass through and around me. With clever maths, humans can work all this out. Now, on to one fact that you may not know. What is the difference between lava and magma? Actually, not a lot. It is all down to location, location, location. Molten rock within me is called magma. As soon as it runs over my surface, it is called lava. Back to you, Jordan. Thanks, Earth. Now, I think I have had enough of this talk, so I will end the episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, like this video, and favourite it too. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya!